Okay, so we are now capturing video for Michelle Patrick. Uh, this is the website, Michelle Patrick um, Photography. And what we're going to do is today we're going to learn um, how to create uh, a gallery and then ready that gallery for e commerce. So, what we're going to do is go into our administrative dashboard. And so in here, we've got um, Next Gen Gallery on the left-hand side. And so what we're going to do first in order to create this gallery is we're going to go ahead and add gallery and images, right? Um, so go ahead and add gallery. What we're going to do is we're going to give our gallery a name, and we're going to call it Rudy's Gallery. Uh, and then we're going to put a dash. And we're going to call this one paid subscriber. So there's two paths to purchase here on Michelle Patrick's website. Uh, the first is you can purchase a subscription to the website and download as many images as you'd like. The second is just buying images as you need them. So this gallery will be for the paid subscriber group. So what we're going to do, name our gallery and then create and select. So now it's created that gallery name, but now we need to add an image to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and browse to an image. And we'll choose this one right here because it's pretty simple, pretty easy for, for the purposes of this tutorial. It's fine. You can select as many of these as you'd like. Um, or you can import from your WordPress media library here or import an entire folder of images here. So, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to select an image and we're going to go ahead and upload. So now the image is uploading. Once that's complete, you'll see a message down here at the bottom that says one image uploaded successfully. Now you can see that it resets back to upload images. So we know we've got the image uploaded. The gallery is now created. So what we want to do is ready this gallery that we've just created for e-commerce. So we're going to go ahead and click on Manage Galleries here, and it brings up the Manage Galleries dialog. And we'll find our gallery, and here it is down at the bottom. Uh, it's called Rudy's Gallery, Paid Subscriber. So we'll go ahead and click on the title. Once we click on the title, we can see our gallery. We know it's got one image. If you had multiple images, they would all be listed here. Um, and so what we want to do is, because this is the edit or manage galleries dialog. We want to go into gallery settings and this is a pull down box. So you just click anywhere on here and that toggles the pull down box. You could change the title, you could add a description, you could link it to a page here. Uh, we don't want to do any of that stuff, but what we want to do here is go ahead and include a price list. And because this is for a paid subscriber here, we want to we want to link it to the subscription holder price list. So we go ahead and select that and click Save. The gallery will save and then we'll use the price list subscription holder. So the other the other route would be to use the price list all non-member and those are for people who want to purchase images as they go. So we've updated the gallery. It looks pretty good. Now what we want to do is go ahead and create a page to put this gallery on. So we go into pages and we'll add a new page. Now if you're just simply adding a page with a gallery on it, we'll just use the block editor. Otherwise we could use the Elementor editor. Either way, we'll we'll do a we'll do another tutorial for the Elementor editor as well, but for the purposes of this one, we're just going to add Rudy's Gallery and Paid Subscriber as the title of the page. So once we get our title on the page, we'll click the black box with a plus sign in it. And that's going to bring up a content block, um, addition dialog. So these are all different content blocks you can add. Um, there's a bunch more, and so you can select Browse All. But the one we really want here is Next Gen Gallery, because we're adding our new gallery. 
So we've added our next gen gallery content block, but now we have to add a gallery to that block. So what we're going to do next is click the add gallery. So that's going to bring up the add gallery dialog box. So what we want to do first here is go ahead and select our gallery by clicking in this box, finding our gallery, which is the Rudy's gallery paid subscriber. And then next we want to decide how we want that to appear. And these are, you know, you could use any one of these. You can test different kinds, do different types of things with each one. Um, some of the better ones are pro tile, thumbnail grid and film strip. Um, but you know, Depends on what what, your, what images you have in there, like big landscape uh, images work really well with uh, mosaic and masonry. Uh, Pro tile is great for different sizes and um, aspect ratios. Um, but for this gallery, because we only have one image in it, we're going to go ahead and use basic image browser. So now we've got our gallery. We've got how it's going to appear. Now let's customize the display settings in this gallery on our page. So we click custom, we click customize display settings and here we just want to change one thing and we want to just enable e-commerce because e-commerce is what we're here for. Um, you could sort images to put them in a different way uh, in a different order if you'd like but we don't need to do anything with that here so what we're going to go ahead and do is insert the gallery. And so now we've got our gallery inserted we know this is a page for a paid subscriber, so we have to select one more thing, and that is the require membership dialog box. So here, um, below your content on your page are some custom fields, uh, different things like that. So what we wanna do is require membership to even see this page because it's for paid subscribers. And your paid subscribers are membership. So we'll open this and we'll select member and then what we'll do is just come over here and publish the page. So now we've created a page, we've published it. It's got a, a gallery in it, but we can't see it because we're not members, right? So you could join now. If you were a customer and wanted to go to this gallery, you could surf to it. You just wouldn't see it. Um, so let's go ahead and replicate this gallery for everyone who wants to just purchase it as a one-off image, right? So what we're going to do, we'll do the same process over again. So we'll add a gallery. Here we're going to create a new gallery. We're going to call it Rudy's Gallery. We're going to create and select. So now we're in Rudy's Gallery and we're going to browse to the same image. We're going to just upload it again. Now here at the bottom, we'll just upload the file. So now we've know, we know we've created the gallery. One image was uploaded to the gallery and now we're ready to manage that gallery. So we go here on the left, we manage that gallery because what we want to do now is go ahead and add e-commerce functionality to this gallery. But notice it's not on this page because now we have two pages. So we go to the second page and there it is. So we select our gallery that we just created. Here we're in the gallery settings, manage gallery, gallery settings block or content page. And what we want to do here um, as we manage our gallery is go ahead and just give it a price list. And because this one is not for subscription holders, we select all not members. And then we save our changes. So now we've got the gallery created, we've got images in the gallery, and now we've selected a price list appropriate for this gallery. Now what we wanna do is do the same thing we did with the other gallery and add it to a page. So now we want to go to pages in our main admin menu here on the left and we're going to go ahead and add a new page. So this page we're just going to call Rudy's Gallery and we're going to click the black box with a plus in it to add a content block 
and that content block is going to be a next gen gallery. So now we've added the next gen gallery content block, but we have not added a gallery to it yet. So we'll next, we'll add the gallery. And here again, we've got to select a gallery because it's existing and has an image in it. And we'll go to the appropriate one, which is Rudy's gallery. We'll select basic again because it's just got one image in it. We'll customize our, our customize our display settings, which is what we need to do because we want to enable e-commerce here. So we hit the second tab, customize our display by enabling e-commerce. And then if we wanted to, we could sort or exclude images here, which we're not going to do. And then we'll go ahead and insert that gallery into the page. Now we know we have a gallery here in the content section because this dialog is here. And then what we don't need to do anymore is we don't need to require membership. So let's make sure this is not checked. And now we'll publish the page. Now our page is published. We'll go ahead and view it. Now you can see our image is here. We're not logged in as a member. Um, so we'll be able to see the image. And when we click on the image, notice we do have a shopping cart icon and we can add the image to our cart, which is what we've just done. So that's, that's that. And that's how you add a gallery image. Add a gallery, add images, prep your gallery for e-commerce and execute it for both members and non-members.